Donald Trump today saying he is being attacked by the parents of a U.S. military officer who died fighting in the Iraq war. He's talking about this moment, you'll remember it from this week, when Mr. and Mrs. Kazir Khan, Muslim Americans, whose army captain's son was killed by a suicide bomber in Iraq in 2004. They appeared at the DNC and they slammed Trump for, quote, sacrificing nothing. Captain Khan's father appeared this morning on CNN State of the Union and he called the Republican candidate a black soul who lacks compassion and is unfit for leadership. You just heard our political analysts weigh in on how they think this may or may not affect the election, but for my next guest, this is personal. Saba Ahmed is the founder of the Republican Muslim Coalition and Dean Obadiah is a Sirius XM radio host, Daily Beast contributor, and, and uh, has a very scathing article uh, to Donald Trump on all of this. So, so let's dive right in. Thank you both for being here. Sure. Saba, let me begin with you. As the founder of the Republican Muslim Coalition, what's your reaction to what we've heard Donald Trump say, first telling George Stephanopoulos that he indeed did sacrifice, talked about creating many jobs, et cetera, and then this, this back and forth on, on Twitter uh, uh, to the Khan family. What's your take? Well, obviously Donald Trump is the reason Mr. Khan got the stage on, at the DNC. Democrats are misusing Muslims to uh, attack Trump. And I think we need to understand the d political dynamics behind this. Yes, he's gaining a lot of political capital on both sides of the aisle. I was glad mm -hmm. to see Paul Ryan speak in support, Mitch McConnell, all the Republican leadership obviously values every single person serving in our armed forces. We have thousands of Muslims in, uh, serving in the U.S. Army, and we appreciate all of their sacrifice. At the same time, I don't think we should politicize the issue and attack Donald Trump and his uh, black soul. And I mean, this sort of personal attacks is not the right way to do. We have Good. serious challenges, and I think we need to defend uh, the country as best possible. D does it make your case harder to your fellow Muslims to support Donald Trump? Of course, yes. I think many Muslims question why would you support Trump. But I think the question here is Democrats have been silent for years, and right now they're only bringing out Muslims because they want to attack Trump. I mean, this is political games. This has nothing to do with what the sacrifice was or whoever. Mm -hmm. We need strong leadership in the White House, and that's why we're supporting a Republican in uh, this November. So, Dean, your, your piece in the Daily Beast, I just read it, you, you, you blast Trump for this, mm -hmm. but what, what do you say to Saba, who says this is being done for political gain? And, and it sounds like, Saba, correct me if I'm wrong, you're still very much a supporter of Donald Trump and say he will be the best commander-in-chief, the best president for Muslim Americans. So, Dean, what's your response to that? I think that if you look at the RNC, they had the mother of one of the people lost in Benghazi. They had numerous victims of illegal immigrants who committed, or undocumented immigrants who had committed crimes on their stage. Talk about politicizing tragedy for gain and vote. The RNC wrote the book. Let's also be honest. President Obama has stood with the Muslim community the last few years. He's been reaching out to us. He went and made his first mosque visit. And Hillary Clinton's record in pushing back against the rhetoric of Donald Trump has been fabulous, including daringly after the Orlando shooting, she made a speech in which she talked and touted Muslims. There was no political benefit for her to do that the days after Orlando, but she did to push against Donald Trump's hateful rhetoric. Donald Trump has made demonizing Muslims and Latinos staples of this campaign. And thankfully for us, we found out something special. Saba, you should be happy too about this. Donald Trump thought he could bully the cons because they're Muslims, but America said no to it. And that's a great thing for Muslims and anyone who values religious liberty in this country. Saba, I disagree. And I, I think go ahead. Hillary Clinton is benefiting a lot from any time there is a Muslim tragedy. Uh, that brings up, I, I think that would be unfruitful to say DNC is copying RNC tactics, but I think at the same time, we need to go after Republican policies that make America stronger, and I don't see strong leadership coming out of Democrats. I, I'd, like you, both, I'd like you both, b before I lose you, to, to listen to something else that Donald Trump said in that interview with George Stephanopoulos on ABC, because he was speaking about the wife that we all saw standing there, Ghazala Khan, and why she did not speak at the DNC when she was standing at the podium next to her husband. Let's play that. His wife, uh, if you look at his wife, she was standing there. She had nothing to say. She probably, maybe she wasn't allowed to have anything to say. You tell me, but plenty of people have written that. Saba, what do you think he meant by that? Maybe she wasn't allowed? Well, obviously she spoke out. I think he was trying to target that Muslim woman to stay silent, but I think, right. you know. So what uh, do you mean? I mean, as a Muslim woman, 
Uh, well, we're speaking out and we are supporting Donald Trump. I think he, he, he obviously has issues with Islam and Muslims, and that's exactly what we're trying to change. We need mm -hmm. to educate him, get involved with his campaign, and change his mindset about Muslim women, Muslim men, Muslims in general. I don't want to see this type of rhetoric coming out of the Trump campaign. And I hope Democrats will stop politicizing the issue and misusing Muslims. But this has not swayed your willingness, uh, your desire to, to see him as the next president. Is that correct? No, I still think he would be a great president, and I'm really looking forward to seeing him win this November. And Dean, final thoughts on, on that comment. I think it's, it's hard-pressed if you're a minority in this country to support Donald Trump after his history of demonizing Latinos, Muslims, African Americans, not standing up against the Klan when he was asked about it. The list goes on is sexist he said, comments. He came out after right, that Right, after being pushed by the media. The same thing here. Donald Trump here showed his true colors. I thought he's run a despicable campaign. He's reached a new low with this, his vile attacks on the Khan family and equating himself to someone who served in the military because his sacrifice is flying around a luxury jet and standing in plush boardrooms. It's an insult to every man and woman who's ever put on a uniform to defend this nation and every gold star family. And that's the message Donald Trump has sent this weekend loud and clear to America. Uh, Saba Ahmed, Dean Obadiah, it's important. I wish we had more time. Thank you both for coming on.